Stephen uh, Catola is uh, the first one who invited me here. And uh, so I wasn't really necessarily coming for the church. Uh, I was coming with, with my friend because I can get church in a whole lot of places. Uh, but I can't get friends in a lot of those places. I've been there. Stephen and I spend enough time together where I, I tell him and am comfortable with, with telling him anything. Where I'm not with the people in the sanctuary out there. But because we have relationship and I know he loves me. And, and so I know he's not going to hurt me if, if I become vulnerable with him. Uh, they do hold me accountable and they will call me out on stuff, which is very important because my whole life I've done whatever I've wanted, anytime I've wanted, uh, because I haven't had a lot of accountability and supervision, you know, uh, and so I, I do get that here. But we're a body and I tell you what, I, you know, if I'm the left arm, I need, I need to have a right arm. Well, I'm only going to get it in small group. You're not as effective as God would have you if you're standing alone. You need the help of the other members of the body. Let him who has not have more than enough, and let him who has have nothing left over. If you need something, whatever it is you need, and you need something, whatever it is, Come to small group and get some. And whatever it is that you have and you do, you have something, come to small group and give some of it away. I believe that's God's design. Five, four, three, two, one. You know, many believers grow up in their faith, but they never get launched into discipleship. We're gonna learn what needs to happen, what needs to take place in your life so that you can be launched into the new world of discipleship.